Hello and welcome to Ask a Paleontologist. I'm Dr. Scott Persons and today's question comes from a dinosaur lover named Cat, age 9. And Cat has some questions for us about this animal. So this is a cast of the skull of the very famous carnivorous dinosaur, Velociraptor. Anyway, Cat writes, I heard at Drumheller that Velociraptor was not found in Alberta. Where are they found? And what color are Velociraptor feathers? Well, Cat, you heard right. Velociraptor is not a dinosaur that's been found in Alberta or anywhere in North America, despite what you may have seen in that one very famous dinosaur movie about a park filled with dinosaurs from... Actually, they're mostly from the Cretaceous period. Anyway, Velociraptor has been found in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. But close relatives of Velociraptor have been found in North America, including in the area around Drumheller, Alberta in particular. And those include animals like Sornotholestes and Dromaeosaurus. Now, as for what color Velociraptor's feathers were, that's a little trickier to answer. It used to be that paleontologists didn't have any real idea what color any dinosaurs were. We could make speculations based on their similarities with modern day animals or what kind of habitat the dinosaurs were found in, but we really didn't have any idea. That's changed recently for a few very particular dinosaurs. For example, a close relative of Velociraptor, another kind of raptor dinosaur, is the critter Microraptor from China. And Microraptor has been found with beautifully preserved feather. And what some researchers have done is they've looked at those fossil feathers at a microscopic scale, and they've identified the fossilized pigments of the dinosaur's feathers. And based on the shape of those pigments, we can compare them to the shapes of similar feather pigments in modern day birds and come up with a good idea of what color Microraptor was. And the answer is, Microraptor seems to have mostly been black. It also seems to have some elements in its feathers that made it particularly shiny or glossy, a lot like the feathers of a modern-day crow or a magpie. It may have even had a metallic sheen, maybe going with a shiny green or blue. Now, Velociraptor is a close relative of Microraptor, but we don't have fossilized feathers for it. And you might be wondering, well, how do we even know Velociraptor had feathers? Other than its very close relationship with other raptor dinosaurs that we do have fossil feathers for, we can say with confidence that Velociraptor did have feathers. Not based on fossil feathers, but based on its fossil bones. How does that work? Well, let me show you. So this is an ulna, one of the lower arm bones, from a modern day pelican. And if I flip it over for you, you can see running along the edge of the ulna are all these little bumps. Those bumps are what we call quill knobs, and they're points on the bone where the long feathers and their muscles would attach. And if we looked at the ulna of Velociraptor, we'd see the same thing. Velociraptor also has quill knobs, so it must have had feathers attached to it. But what color were those feathers? Again, this is a case where we really don't have any good idea. The best bet might be to make Velociraptor a similar color to Microraptor, so a dark, shiny, black, blue, or green. If we think about the habitat Velociraptor's in, though, maybe that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Velociraptor was a desert dinosaur, or at least one that hung around in oases nearby deserts, so there was probably a lot of white sand in its environment. Maybe Velociraptor had a light brown or sandy color to help it blend in. Those are all possibilities, and for the time being, your guess is as good as mine. Thanks for the question, Cat. And if you've got a question for me, Send me a comment below.